Hello everyone, I am Nitij and in this video, we will set up a Node.js project with automated code formatting and linting using Husky, Lint Staged, Prettier and ES Lint. This setup helps ensure that all code commits meet our project's coding standards. So before we jump into the code, let's briefly discuss the tools that we are going to use. The first one is Node.js, which is going to be our runtime environment. We will use Husky to manage Git hooks to automate scripts before we commit anything. Lint staged, which is going to allow us to run scripts on staged files in Git. We will use Prettier, which is a code formatter that ensures our code is consistently styled. And we will lastly use ESLint, which is a linting tool that helps us catch JavaScript errors and also to maintain code quality standards. So this is Visual Studio Code and in this folder I will first open up the terminal and I will initialize a new node project. So to do that I will simply run the command npm init with the y command to say yes to all the default questions. Now let's install our dependencies. So npm install. So first one is going to be husky and then we will install lint staged then we will install prettier and then es lint and all of these are going to be our dev dependencies because we don't really need them in the production environment now to be able to use husky we need to initialize a git repository in this folder to do that i will use the command git and then init now let's initialize husky by using the command npx then husky and then in it this has created a dot husky folder with a default pre-commit file and some other files as well within this underscore so these are all the templates which we can use but we are only going to use the pre-commit file now let's also initialize the eslint config and to do that we can run the command npm and then in it and then at the rate eslint slash config press enter this is going to ask us a bunch of questions. So how would you like to use ESLint to check syntax and find problems? What type of modules? So we are using the ES6 modules which are import and export. Which framework? So we are not using any of these frameworks. So let's select none of these. Does your project uses TypeScript? No, we don't. And where does your code run? I'm just going to select node what format do you want your config files to be in let's use javascript for now it says successfully created dot eslint rc dot js which is this one this file contains all the configuration required to use eslint now let's open up the package dot json file and inside it i will add a lint staged command so we are going to run lint staged by using husky and over here we are simply using prettier eslint and finally git add for all of the javascript files and to test this setup i am going to add a new file with the name server.js so new file and then server.js and i am going to add some code over here which is a valid candidate for using our prettier and eslint now because we have the node modules folder let's also add a git ignore file so new file and then dot git ignore and i'm just going to add some basic folders and files to ignore in the git ignore file let's save it so before we go ahead and commit our files we need to do one last thing and that is to open up our pre-commit file within the husky folder and then remove this default npm test and we want to execute our lint staged command which we have just added in the package.json file so i'm going to add over here npx and then lint staged now let's save this file and open up our source control panel and so i'm going to stage all of these files and for the message i will enter husky test now what should happen when we will commit all these files specifically for server.js is this file should be prettified and any es lint related inconsistency or error should be fixed now let's click on the commit button there is an error message which says skipping backup because there is no initial commit yet now this message is not really helpful to understand what's going on 
So let's click on the show command output button and scroll down. It says error require is not defined in the server.js. So in our server.js file, we are using the um, require syntax to import the express module. But remember, we have not configured it inside our ESLint configuration. So to fix this, open up our ESLint RC file and add another environment over here with the name common.js. So we will simply add a new property over here, common.js with the value true. Now let's save it and try again to commit. But before that, we need to include these new changes to the staged changes as well so that they can be merged. Now I will click on the commit button. This time the files have been committed and now let's check our server.js file. You can see that the file contents have changed. The code has been prettified and linting has been applied as well. If you found this video helpful, then please hit the subscribe button. Your support motivates me to create more content like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.